What's up boys? Today I'm checking out Time Trekker, a new bullet heaven where you can apparently build and customize your own mech. Welcome back. The base continually captures your combat data to enhance our harbingers. WASD movement. There's supposed to be a skill on space as well, I believe. Can I get a pet dog for company next time to minimize losses? You only need to hold off the enemy for a while. I will recall you afterwards. So it looks like my skill here is just a dash. That's a really short cooldown. Wow. Oh, okay. So it's like generating heat. Or no, I have to recharge that entire bar to get those back. But once you have them, you can use a ton of them. So we've got some side quests to keep HP above 50% and activate one light tower. Enhances knockback and inflicts burn on hits, or slashes with a high energy blade wave capable of hitting multiple targets. Sure, let me get some AoE right now. Only weapons of the same level can be used for upgrades. Watch for upgrade prompts. Bunch of text. So, can I drag that over here? Okay, sick. Targets hit three. Bunch of different stats on the weapon itself. Need plenty of some resource to unlock more slots. Bullets that penetrate. I have an auto cannon, so probably don't want to grab a weapon right now. Just projectile size, available after equipping. And that's an attachment, so that will go onto one of the weapons, I suppose. Each punch knocking enemies back. Sounds kind of cool, but we'll grab an attachment from now and check that out. And I think I probably want AoE on the weight, or yeah, area size on the wave. Gives me plus 30% there. Oh, I guess I could see what it does on each one. 30% bullet size. We'll take the sword wave size. It's oh, I guess I should be looking for the tower. Is there a map or anything? doesn't seem like it. So how do I find the tower then? Electric arcs that inflict massive damage, that sounds cool. Laser rifle, that sounds cool as well. Spinning glaive. Oh, we have a free refresh each time. Uh, I don't have any of the resource for weapons yet, so let's see if I can find a passive for them. Optimizes weapon attack intervals, increasing weapon attack speed. Can restore HP when attacking. Both sound pretty cool. Let's grab some cooldown to go on top of the sword with the AoE. 30% attack speed, pretty solid. I need to find out how to get the resource there somehow. So I guess we have a DRGS style supply pod here. Ooh, Photon Blade. I could probably upgrade that then. Storing HP would be nice. Oh, I could upgrade either of them, I guess. Exclude target after activation? Oh, I wonder if I could... Insufficient props. Oh, oh well. I'll take that and try to upgrade the thing then. So the attack speed will improve a bit, the DPS and attack will go up massively, over double DPS, wow. Ch 
changes weapon attack mode, XP multiplier and luck enhancement, so that must be a passive bonus then. Another photon blade. Select rewards one of six. Oh wow, you get six different level ups from that? So those are both attachments, enhances weapon attack, illuminator. Uh, probably weapon attack or something later on. I have three of those now, but that's a long ways from getting a new weapon. Projectile size, sure. Maybe we can upgrade that. Another weapon attack. Movement speed, light area, and vision range, but you lose HP and defense. Um, that might be helpful to avoid stuff. Adjust projectile speed range and damage frequency. That sounds really strong. Click slow on hit, test the gun, rocket launcher. Uh, I have a ton of attachments. I'm going to go ahead and grab a third weapon in case I can use that soon, and that one sounds cool. So that seems like a lot of different stats. 30%? Wait, was that it? What was it? That one. Projectile speed range and damage frequency. Why is it 30%? I was putting the amplifier in there, right? No, the propulsor. I was putting the propulsor in there. Why does it say bullets? Sword Wavelength? It's supposed to be a bunch of different stats, right? Projectile speed, range, and damage frequency. I guess it just does one of them? Depending on what weapon it is? So I get range there, or bullet speed there. Okay, that's a bit confusing. 30% wave size, I could upgrade that, I think. With the amplifier. Uh, I have no idea how to upgrade that. Oh, there we go. And we have two power boosters. Plus 80% damage. I think I like the attack speed over there. So that has a massive damage AoE now. And then we'll have that for later once I can afford that. What is R? Oh, auto or standard aiming. Life system, HP and region, that sounds nice, so I have some constant healing. Bounce rifle, knockback. So it looks like our passive bonuses are all down here. It's that, I guess, a stat breakdown? Can I see exactly what defense does? Just as a portion. I see what luck does. Increases all probability related attributes. I still don't know how to find the light tower. Oh, I guess that was it. Okay. Chainsaw, that's pretty cool. Auto cannon, click burn on hits. Let's go ahead and grab the auto cannon upgrade. So that will almost double the DPS, increasing the attack and the speed.
Armor system, defense, and weight. Can I see what weight does? I can't open the stat menu from here, unfortunately. Modifies projectile attack effects. Power gauntlet. Uh, let's grab that, I guess. What does that take to unlock six for another modifier on there? Uh, that might actually be good to get... Can I close that? Okay, there we go. To get the size back over there. Five percent wave size on my current main weapon. And what does that do over there? Splits into one bullet's fifty percent damage. How can you split into one bullet? Huh? Oh, we've actually been mixing a bunch of that stuff on the ground. Oops. That seems very important for upgrading your mech, so try not to miss that. Oh yeah, what did weight do? Oops, too late. Optimizes weapon attack intervals, increasing attack speed. I think that one's pretty good. Does it take one to upgrade it still? And that will bring it up to... I can't tell. It's already at level two, isn't it? Or is that something else? I guess it was something else. Oops. So we doubled the attack speed on that. And then can I see what weight does? I hate that the weapon pop-up keeps blocking that. Weights. Pushes through enemies more easily when surrounded. Okay, so that's actually positive. Normally having a high weight is negative. Okay, we can actually almost afford a new weapon with all those crystals. But it might be over? Okay, so I guess the first tutorial mission was just three minutes. Impacts. Not sure what that is. Total earn 21. And oh, so impact is like the reward for the mission or something since we got bonuses from the side quests. HP and energy. Well, I guess plus two region is probably worth that, actually. So it's good, it just has a bit of a downside on it.
for some reason my blade wave is manually targeting them sometimes. Oh, I accidentally had the auto targeting on over there. Oops. So we got the nest already. If I get a few more crystals, I can get a new weapon soon. Can I do that right now, actually? So I could add the Tesla gun. Electric arcs that inflict massive damage. Sounds sick. And we do have a slow... Does that have four available already? Wow. Slow duration one, intensity 50%. Uh, I don't have any slots on that one yet, I guess. Chance of hitting target weakness, boosting critical damage. Weapon attack speed. And... Electromagnetic field around the weapon, dealing continuous damage to enemies on contact. I think I'm good on weapons for now. Does that still upgrade with one? Oh, I need to make another level two to do that. Okay. So each level will take twice as many. damage pierces through multiple targets with strong knockback. There's the extra weapon attack speed or a photon blade. Can I... Insufficient props. Okay, I can't lock them. Oh, you can see how many you have here, I guess. How do I ban something? Oh, that must be the ban thing. Okay. Well, let's ban that since I have quite a few weapons already. And then probably take this since I can get the upgrade for it now. Auto cannon, cooler, ice coating. I think I need two of these. I could upgrade that. Eh, sure, we'll see what it does. So it doubles the duration, but the slow stays the same. And then we can upgrade these. Oh, you can recycle them for five crystals as well. And this goes to 90%. You got a massive speed boost from something there. up crystals 30% chance to restore 5 HP relic I haven't seen one of those yet Can just weapon attack mode sure let's try it out okay so we have eight slots for those how much is that 12 crystals for a new upgrade on that that would be pretty helpful for my main AoE weapon does that do here? Scatter range? Disperses on Vanish. So it must be a small AoE at the end of the wave, which sounds really good. Oh, it splits into like four or five there. Okay, yeah, that's pretty nuts. And since I can heal off the crystals now, it might be worth running into the middle of those big bat waves so I can kill even more of them. Enhances weapon attack, knockback. Uh, we have some of those. And I can put the level 1 up here for now until I get more of them. Give me the crystals! I don't seem to drop them that often though. But if you can get a few from the wave, might still be worth it. Slow knockback, spinning glaive, multiple hits, and block regular bullets. Actually does sound kind of cool. Uh, I can kind of use that. But for now we can toss it up here. No, I don't have any slots. Oh, I have the level 2 one up there anyways. 
Oh, they max out at level 3 for the passives as well. Life steal, slow on hit, photon blade. The upgrades are pretty strong, so I sh probably should try and finish those off. Critical damage, bounce rifle, chainsaw. Uh, let's do the free refresh, maybe. Energy, oh, that's the dash stuff, isn't it? Bounce rifle. Uh, I guess I'll take the passive. So we need one more for that. Ice coating, no slots for that currently. Bunch of different weapons, liquid nitrogen slowing and dealing damage over time, that sounds pretty cool. They honestly all sound pretty cool. Let's banish that, I guess. And then I'll grab that one for later. But 40 for that is pretty expensive. I will probably want to unlock some more stuff before that. Oh god, those guys are... Teleport 30 seconds, then try and grab some crystals to heal up a bit. I feel like I could use a movement speed passive to be honest. Slow impact. Uh, I think that gives me the level 3 upgrade for that. Just increases the duration by one. We can buy an upgrade or a new weapon. I guess we may as well try out the nitrogen sprayer.
drone thing? My liquid nitrogen? Jet distance and angle. So is that a drone then? Not sure, but I guess it is this. That looks like an advanced monster. The slow effect actually seems extremely helpful against them. Because there is no way I'm killing those anytime soon. Laser rifle, Tesla gun upgrade. So that gains a ton of DPS, a little bit of attack speed. I feel like the area on these could be a bit bigger, but it doesn't seem like it's losing progress, so maybe it's fine. Okay, that was a big explosion. Store HP when attacking, cooler. I can't see my... Oh, I guess I can see my total inventory over here. So I can see that that one's maxed out. It is a very good one. Let's try a life recycler on something. If I have any slots. Uh, bullet speed probably isn't super impactful. Actually, weapon attack do I have? Oh, I need one more to max out that for the blade. 10% chance to restore 5% plus 1. Okay. So it's full on percentage based life steal, but it doesn't happen on every hit. And it has a minimum boost for very fast attacking weapons as well. I think I can use that for something. So the scatter range goes up by 50% and the damage goes up massively as well. Wow. Big explosion on those now. Oh, those are probably the flying enemies, aren't they? Yeah. One defense, three weights. Don't have either of those, so may as well take the passive. It is going up a bit. Those range guys aren't one. Movement speed, light area vision range, lose some HP and defense. Explosion upon killing a target. Sounds pretty good. I would really like some movement speed though. That's super important it feels like in case you're out of dashes these are just attachments wrecked tesla i have that but we need one more to upgrade that still. I think that was level two, right? Yeah. Oh, we got everything complete. I didn't really see anything. Oh, you know the exploders might be one then. Crit damage, alters number of projectiles fired. Sound sick. Uh, I could try that for the weapon speed since this has some nice utility effects on it. Bullets plus one damage. Oh, it's probably a damage penalty. I'm guessing. 
Having some attack speed instead of the attack damage might be useful to apply the slow and lifesteal a bit more often. Projectile speed, range, and damage frequency. Could check out something on one of these. Actually, let's put it on the drone and put that on the cheaper slot. And then maybe that will slow more? Oh, I guess it causes the damage over time to happen more often. But that's a decent increase. Weapon attack mode, burn on hits, moderate damage. Could eventually use that to fully upgrade it. But we need one more for that. So I have this insane weapon, or this insane AoE weapon that's just slaughtering everything. I have a utility gun for some slowing and lifesteal. And then just some random stuff that I can't really upgrade yet. Recharging for 14 seconds, unleash a shockwave that knocks back nearby enemies. Cooler is pretty good, but there's a lot of relic slots. So two out of eight of those. And they also seem fairly rare as well. You know, the sword itself has a maximum targets of three, but the explosion at the end doesn't seem to have a cap on the targets, so that seems to be boosting the AoE by a ton on there. Targets hit three, but it's just destroying everything it hits. So that must have been the airbag knockback. Rocket launcher, electrostatic. Could reroll, or I could take the level 2 rocket launcher and put that in. So we can toss that on one of those, or I could buy a new one, but I kind of like to get the attachments for them, I think. I guess we're taking the Tesla out for now. I don't have any attachments ready for those. Teleport is counting down now. Just try and grab a ton of crystals right at the end. You know, I'm not actually sure if the airbag is always beneficial since it kind of knocked those bats out of my AoE there. Alters number of projectiles fired. Oh, I put that on the gun, right? For more utility stuff. So that actually just increased the damage of it though, which isn't super relevant to it. But oh well, maybe it'll be good at the next level. I was hoping for more bullets on that.
chance to restore HP, we can level either of these up, I think. Let's see what that one gains. Both the chance and the damage go up quite a bit, and the flat amount on top of that. That seems like a big upgrade. Can I even kill these big purple guys without the bomb pickup? I guess I can keep them slowed forever with a rifle. Device, mutator, we are using one of those. Level two, so I would need another one of these. But that one's extremely good, so I'll definitely take that. And I can toss it onto something else for now as well. Uh, I think I like the Tesla more than the rocket. Increases the lightning attack range, what's that do? Oh, I need to unlock that. One electric bounce, okay, that's pretty sick actually. Not seeming like I can kill these guys. Okay, one of them eventually went down and got the quest. Kind of getting swarmed, but my AoE weapon is doing work at least. Did I just tell myself nice shooting? Another scout system level. I could get the auto cannon up to level three. The expander is very good. Can I lock one of these? Nope. Uh, I should probably get that up to level 3. The weapons seem to have pretty big upgrades when you increase their level. So we gain attack and attack speed, almost up to a nice amount of damage. That was actually a pretty good knockback though. It's getting noticeably more difficult now though. Gravity detonator is slow on hits. Is that maxed? Yes. Causes an explosion upon killing a target. You could probably toss that on one of the other weapons and maybe get occasional explosions for that. Tesla, that's got some okay stuff now. Explosion range and damage. Yeah, it's actually getting fairly challenging now with all the projectiles and being swarmed on every side now. I am down to grab a cooler for something else. Having it on the utility weapon up here would be fantastic. So now we'll slow more often, lifesteal more often, although the percentage parts of that will be a bit worse without the attack damage. We can toss that on the electric thing for now, after I buy that. 40% damage, not bad, to help it get the explosions. Yeah, there's so many enemies now, Jesus. So many projectiles on top of that.
There's so many, my god. Please, crystals, heal me. I need your healing crystal energy. Touch the gun. What is that at? I think it was level 2. Yeah. But we can get that ready for level 3. Oh, I did have two of them. Or rather, I had one of them so I can fully upgrade. Pretty nice DPS increase, small amount of attack speed, some nice range on that. Not bad. Oh my god, I can barely move. I guess we should probably banish this since I have it maxed out. Ice coating. Uh, let's check the refresh here. Photon, that'll max that out at level 3, I think. Yeah. That's kind of nice as well, but we definitely want that. Since that is the main AoE weapon. So it gains a ton of DPS, a lot of attack speed, a lot of attack, and a lot of size on top of that. Yeah, that's a massive upgrade, wow.
Mm-hmm.